Welcome to Pastors Unplugged for the first week in Advent. It is time now for you to wake from sleep. The night is far spent, the light draws near. Let us pray. Stir up your power, Lord Christ, and come. As darkness falls, may we watch for your light. Keep us awake and alert to your coming, and strengthen us to the end, that we may be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Today's scripture is actually taken, it's a shorter excerpt from this week's gospel, from Mark, the 13th chapter. Beware, keep alert, for you do not know when the time will come. It is like a man going on a journey, when he leaves home and puts his slaves in charge, each with his work, and commands the doorkeeper to be on watch. Therefore, keep awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening, or at midnight, or at cockcrow or at dawn, or else he may find you asleep when he comes suddenly. And what I say to you, I say to all, keep awake. As you hear those words, what images, what phrases, maybe even just a word, stands out for you in this reading? What will you, in these four weeks of Advent, watch and pray about? What will help you stay awake and hopeful? For me, I'm hopeful in the signs that I see of God breaking into our world. And you know, a vaccine, hopefully, is very close. I see the ways that we have come together as a community of faith. And I hear of stories of hope and connection like Wanda Dench and Jamel Hinton. You know, they actually became very famous a few years ago because she was texting her grandson to come to Thanksgiving dinner. But what she didn't know is that he had changed his number. So she actually texted a stranger, Jamal. And he responded back and forth, and you know, they shared some selfies along the way. And then he said, can I still get a plate, though? And she said, sure, that's what grandmas do. That was 2016, and they have become friends. They often double dated, her with her husband, him with his girlfriend. And he was even there for Wanda when her husband contracted COVID in April and died. And even in the midst of COVID, they still managed to have a small Thanksgiving dinner outside. This story gives me hope. Hope that we can look past our differences. That young and old can come together and learn from each other. You know, we're going to be looking at more multi-generational events in our community of faith in 2021. It also gives me hope that the color of our skin will not deter friendships. And we're going to look at that too in 2021. So much, so much hope as we watch and we wait for the birth of Jesus. Let us pray. The Spirit and the church cry out, Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. All those who await his appearance pray, Amen, come, Lord Jesus. The whole creation pleads, Amen, come, Lord Jesus. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Amen. And I invite you now, join with me as we pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now, even as we wait, as we watch, as we wonder, God is with us. May your week be filled with hopeful waiting and watching. Until next week, have a blessed week.